Hi, everyone. It's a pleasure to have with me today Randy Townsend. Randy, great to see you. Glad to be here. Thank and, you. And Jason Cornett. Jason, Thank nice you. to see you Good here. Good to see you, too. And, and um, Randy is running for uh, Watauga County Sheriff, and obviously Jason is running for the Watauga County Board of Education. It's a great pleasure to have you all with us here today and everything. Thank you. Jason, tell us, first of all, obviously we can tell you're a football player and everything, but tell us about growing up, you know, where you grew up here in Watauga County and where you went to school and everything. Sure. I grew up in the Bethel community. Um, that's my home. I grew up there with my mother and father, Daryl and Judy Cornett, and uh, went to Bethel K through eight, got to play some football earlier on and uh, really found a passion for that. My son, he's actually kind of taken to basketball now. He's, he's a tall kid too. He's, uh, uh, he, he's, we're real proud of him. Yeah. And um, after, after uh, going to Bethel, I went to Watauga High and started continued playing some football there. Played my freshman and senior year, really enjoyed that. And it, it was a good experience, a good team building experience and just good to, to get out there with the guys and uh, just uh, learn how to work together as a team. It was really good. Yeah, so tell us then after, after you finished up at uh, Watauga High School, tell us where you went. Because sure. you've been in law enforcement for years, but you've also done it in a way with working with, with children and, and education. Yes, um, yes, after graduation, I graduated in 94 and then uh, I immediately began the work, uh, workforce. Wasn't sure exactly what career I wanted to go into or what uh, uh, study to go into. So uh, I went to work for ASU, began in food services, uh, worked for the Office of Fine and Applied Arts, the Dean's Office there. So I got to do a few, um, a few different kind of duties. And within that process, I really got to see the need of, I need to find a career, something that I really want to, uh, devote my time and energies to and I had some family members and friends that were in law enforcement and that really intrigued me and so uh, I applied for a position it was a new position at the time it was a security officer position uh, that they had at ASU police and in 1999 I got hired on as a security officer there and uh, it was a wonderful experience got to learn more about uh, uh, how to deal with uh, problems and things like that from a, a preventative perspective and then went on to BLET in 2000 in 2000 and 2001 became a police officer yeah. and worked as a police officer for a couple of years um, very fortunate had a good career with ASU got uh, promoted up to sergeant so I got to do some more investigative skills and work on those things which I really enjoy that and then went on from there to work for the Watauga Sheriff's Office as a criminal Vis division investigator uh, that's where some things really uh, started coming together for me in my career. I got to spend more time in the county, spend more time not just with the students at ASU, but into the county with people I grew up with, uh, see the challenges of families and uh, friends that I've known my entire life, see the things that they face on a daily basis. And also, um, I was able to assist Boone Police with some of their school resource activities. Got to spend a lot of time in the high school uh, primarily uh, doing special events and just getting to work with the students and the staff there the administrators there and it really enlightened me on the things that they face day to day the high school was almost like its own uh, little town uh, faced its own little challenges and it was really good to see and kind of specialize with them the teachers hear their concerns the students kind of work together with them uh, just a really good experience to do that and also from time to time get to do some community policing programs in the elementary schools and speak to the kids and parents about safety and awareness um, issues that come up from time to time. Yeah. Randy, you're running for Watauga County Sheriff, but yes. tell us about your background because you grew up here in Watauga County also. I did. Uh, I went to elementary school at Parkway, uh, live out in the Deep Gap area. Then I went to, of course, graduated Watauga High School in 85. I went right on into Appalachian State University where I got a degree in criminal justice and I graduated there in 1988. And uh, I wanted to get, get into something where I could feel like I was serving the public, helping people. So I chose uh, to get, go out in, into law enforcement. I started working for the Watau County Sheriff's Department. I uh, worked under former Sheriff Red Lines. Uh, then worked at Appalachian State Police Department for a period of time before going into probation parole. I've worked at the uh, probation parole department for 22 years. Uh, for the last five years, I've been the supervisor uh, the title is called Chief Probation Parole Officer, but that's a job I presently, presently ser serve as. And uh, that's, really, that's all I know is law enforcement. I like s serving the people, trying to help solve their problems and protecting uh, my community. 
That's a very important position there because there's so many people that you can even help in that, can't you? It, it is, yeah. I, I feel like you know I can kind of take it to a higher level by supervising the men and women of the Sheriff's Department. Mm -hmm. I'm passionate about law enforcement uh, and feel like I can, can make some improvements there. Yeah. So, Jason, tell us now. It's very interesting because, you know, when you see most Board of Education people, they're people that probably came from a t teaching background, and so they see it from a teaching angle, which is great. Yes. I mean, you need all types of, you know, that's, they obviously have a huge amount of experience. But it, what strikes me with yourself is that, is that you have had an opportunity through what your work to see it from a different way, because even in the Sheriff's Department, it's very important for the safety of our children and to keep them safe and keep them not you know doing anything that could be potentially dangerous and things and these are the kind of things that you can add to a board of education can't you yes absolutely i've, I've also had the benefit to uh, serve as, as a general law enforcement instructor uh, i've done that for about seven years so i actually got to teach our police officers um, in service and uh, different blet training so i get to see that perspective and we got to realize too, I am so grateful to our educators here in Watauga County, those that are, have served on the board uh, previously, I'm thankful that that is there. But one of the things I really feel is lacking is parental involvement. It's people who actually have kids in our school system. Um, me and my wife, Brandy, we've talked about this on numerous occasions. We send our heart to school every day. Yeah. And that changes a person's perspective on safety on needs. Uh, when I talk to Josh when he comes home from school and he expresses to me the concerns that he has, the problems or just different things he has, and there's been nothing of, of magnitude, but just general um, concerns that he has, I know that there's other parents that are sharing those same concerns. And we as uh, parents uh, together at Cove Creek School will talk about things at different sporting events, just different events that bring us together. And when I see we are just one school i would like to be able to be involved with all the school systems um, law enforcement is something that puts people somewhat in the public eye and i've i've grown used to that people will come to you with problems and they're looking for solutions and that is something that i really want to take to heart with this school board uh, things that come up uh, bullying Bullying's a big thing right now, cyberbullying, uh, the technology that our schools are providing to younger kids, it offers up different uh, things that even when I was growing up wasn't prevalent. So the law enforcement aspects help, help, aspect helps me stay above and uh, ahead of those things. And uh, I just want to be able to share that with our kids. And I really want to bring our parent involvement up with our school board. I think it's really important because when you're talking about having a board, you're trying to get a board of people with different life experiences to bring together yes. so that they all can contribute something to it. If you had all the people that were exactly the same, that only contribute in the same sort of way. But I think what you have is very unique in terms of being able to keep our children safe like that. Balance. Yeah. Balance. I've talked to so many people, and Randy, uh, he and I have spent a lot of time together talking to uh, different people in our community, and, and there's a balance. There's a need for uh, educators. There's a need for local uh, knowledge. There's a need for parental involvement, and I just find that so, so important, so important. And that is, Randy, what you're looking at a sheriff's department. That's crucial, one of the factors there. One of the, the big things you look at is keeping our children safe, isn't it? Oh, for sure, uh, yes. Uh, that's going to be one of my top priorities would be school safety, uh, having officers that's well trained, able to respond when incidents do occur. And also, I would like to expand the school resource officers. Uh, I would like to have a school resource officer in every county school. If we was to have an active shooter, I heaven forbid we ever do, but if we was to have an active shooter, these county elementary schools like Bethel, Green Valley, it could take, according to where the officer is, up to 30 minutes for an officer to respond. And uh, that's, uh, that wor worries me, and I'd like to explore options with uh, county commissioners and Board of Education, possibly looking at some grants to get more officer presence in, in our public schools. Yeah. What do you see as some of the big issues then, w uh, Sheriff? What, what ways would you look at it, that's obviously one of them, but to try to improve what's happening right now? Uh, several, several major issues. Uh, one, of course, is the drug activity. I would. Uh, aggressively enforce uh, the drug uh, laws and violations. Uh, in my present job, I see kind of trends as to what type of drugs are on the increase. And meth, methamphetamine, uh, also prescription drug use seems to be on the increase. So we'd have to target those areas. 
Uh, also crime prevention. I would like to improve crime prevention efforts uh, here in the county. Uh, quality investigations would be another top priority of mine. Uh, have officers respond, pr conduct professional investigations, keeping the victim informed throughout the investigative period. I know we can't solve every crime, uh, that, that's impossible, but I want the victim to, to realize their case is important to us and that we're doing everything we can uh, to, to solve uh, their crime. Yeah. Jason, if you talk about you know, safety too, I mean obviously adults, a lot of us as parents and you know, aren't that great on technology and things like that, and, but your background, internet is such a potential open area, isn't it, for the safety of our children there? It really is. Uh, one of the common things that we find, uh, or I found in, uh, in reports, taking reports from students at App State, um, Facebook, uh, MySpace, uh, trying to think Instagram, some of these things where, where photographs are being posted of, of people, uh, where people are going on, and uh, sometimes you'll even see where people will make a fake or a phony Facebook page uh, with the intent to harass someone. If they want to make fun of a student, they will make a page just uh, similar to what we would do in support of a campaign, so to speak. Uh, they would kind of turn the tables a little bit and use that as a way to pick on a student. And a lot of times, uh, different people like the page. They can go on and post and do these things. And uh, our kids are being so creative with things. Um, so many different things are being placed in front of them at an earlier age that we have to respond sooner. To these things and I, I'm really big on preventative maintenance as I okay. as I call it I like to try to stop things before it starts and it's important to through awareness programs through education not only of the kids in a school setting but to the parents uh, community meetings uh, parental meetings where the school and the parents and the students all alike are brought together and things are exposed you can say hey this is a danger and this is why and show through statistics through show through uh, trends that we see here locally or even nationally to just to make people aware of what's out there and the dangers that they can cause. But it's so important. I mean, you have such a background in that. It, it really adds a whole lot because so many of us as parents don't understand that. And a lot of teachers, I mean, obviously teachers have to, you know, are aware to a degree, but, but you've been right there at the, the ground level, haven't you? I've been very fortunate, uh, both at ASU Police and with the Tauga Sheriff's Office when I worked there as well, uh, to take excellent training. Uh, alert training, uh, awareness training, threat assessment training. Uh, it's all, when we do it at the, the college level, it's amazingly crosses over into the elementary level, our county school levels. Active shooters, uh, community policing is one of the things that I've been involved with for years. When I was at ASU, my title uh, before leaving to go to the sheriff's office uh, in 2003 was crime prevention sergeant. So that's what I specialized in was actually s seeking out, looking for the statistics, um, talking to the different departments of the trends they're seeing, knowing what's going on around us and making everybody aware to try to create a, a, an avenue of prevention. You'd obviously be a great asset to, you know, to a Board of Education because of the, your unique knowledge. Um, but tell us now about some of the other issues because obviously like teacher, respect for teachers, I've heard about that. and and. Uh, you know, what do you look at in terms of that, in terms of supporting our teachers? Sure. And I know people will probably have a different, uh, different point of views on this, but I, I have always found through my career, especially with the more time I've spent with the uh, teachers I've been able to, there's, I find a lot of common ground with police officers and teachers. We're both public servants. You have to have a heart for it. It's, it's a calling. Have a passion for it. Absolutely, it, you have to focus on what your goal is, what your desire is, and I believe teachers are amazingly their hearts for our kids are amazing. Um, when I been able to, I noticed this more so probably when I did the after school events because you have a little bit more time uh, during those time to actually talk outside the classroom. But just I want to be there to listen to them. I want teachers to understand, I, I will listen. I want to hear what your concerns are. I want to be able to take your concerns before the Board of Education and before the community, before the county commissioners and petition things for them. Uh, I know that, uh, and I think most people know, but it's important to know that the Board of Education, we don't create funds. That's all through county and state funding as far as what comes into our county schools. And even though, uh, the school board does not generate money. There are ways of petitioning. Um, 
the county commissioners. I know that there was a talk at one point in time that there was a supplement. Um, I know that there's funding within the uh, Board of Education funds, but I, until I have that paperwork in front of me, I don't know what is allocated for what. But yes, I, I definitely am uh, sensitive to what the teachers are going through. And I'll take it a step further and say law enforcement has been uh, placed under challenging times as well. I know what it's like to, for my, my career to be challenged, uh, my passion to be challenged, and that's, that's a hard thing to face at times. And I just want the teachers to know that I'm an advocate for them. Uh, I will stand for them. So Randy, you've spent 25 years really helping people and, and working in law enforcement. And, um, so tell us your passion then for in the Sheriff's Department. It will, just uh, serving the people. Uh, providing quality professional law enforcement for the citizens of Watauga County. Uh, if I'm uh, elected sheriff, I'll be a highly visible sheriff. Uh, I'll be out in the communities. I want to talk to the citizens in the community, find out what we're doing right. Also find out what we're doing wrong so I can make the needed improvements. But I'll be a hands-on uh, uh, working sheriff if elected. Yeah, and obviously with 25 years of experience, work, you know, you have a great knowledge of law enforcement, don't you? Yeah, uh, that's, that's all I've done in my career. Uh, some people say to get burnt out in law enforcement. I've never got burnt out. Uh, I'm just as passionate about it now as I was when I started my career in 1988. Yeah. And I want to serve the people. I feel like I can make some positive changes and positive improvements uh, for the county. Yeah. My number one goal will always be to make Watauga County a safer place to live, conduct business, and raise a family. And that's what I'll always strive for. Yeah, that's great. Jason, you obviously have a passion for it. You obviously you have children in school that you have, so you have a passion there. You have a passion for your whole career, you know, helping to keep, um, you know, children safe and, and college students and high school students safe. And so you really have a passion for this position for Board of Education, don't you? Absolutely. It did not take me long. Uh, there was a, a time period there before filing. Uh, me and my wife, we took the time to pray, talk to my friends, uh, talk to my son, and. Uh, it's one of those passions that did not go away. Uh, I prayed that there would be strong candidates that would file, and uh, when it came time to file, I was beyond thankful that I had the opportunity to do that. I counted a privilege. I love working with people. I love working with kids. And when, when I look at my career, uh, also, uh, I also am a preacher, uh, and I've been preaching for the past four years. Uh, and just seeing the need of people, I think you just have to get to a place in your life that you understand just how important people are. And when I think about people, I think about our kids and, and just the challenges they face. Uh, it's, it's definitely a passion of the heart. Yeah. And uh, I think that's what, we'll, what it will take to be successful in, in anything that we do, but especially when we're talking about the school board and our county level government. And I think the key factor is, you know, Board of Education, County Commissioners, you know, Sheriff's Office, all of it working together, isn't yeah. it? Like, the, there's so many yes. things that overlap, and there has to be relationships there to, to work be. together. Absolutely. That understanding between, between the, different, uh, the different fields that you mentioned there, that, that is key. And being able to petition and, com and communicate uh, effectively within those different uh, careers, I think that is key. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks, Randy. Oh, thanks, Terry. Yeah, thank Good you so much. And thanks, Jason. Thank really you, appreciate Terry. it. Y'all did a great job. And thank you. And thank you. Very informative for our viewers. And, and we wish you all the best. Thank you very thanks much. Thanks for having us. And we're right back with more of the Mountain Television Network.